Thank you very much, Madam President. Uh, my constituents in London simply cannot afford the £288 estimated per family as their part of, of the contribution to the £7 billion bailout of Ireland. The Irish are the authors of their own misfortune. Their government mismanaged their economy and fueled a house-building boom unrelated to reality. But worst of all, they joined the European single currency. The first step in solving their problems is to leave the euro. Instead, Ireland has chosen to subject itself to financial gov governance from the European Union. The longer it takes to leave the euro, then the worse the consequences of the exit will be. The same applies, of course, to Portugal, Italy, Spain and Greece, and no doubt others. The only sensible thing that the late and unlamented Labour government did was to keep Britain out of the euro. A sensible thing that the coalition government to do, can do is to stop throwing good money after bad. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Ireland's bailout is unlikely to be the last in the eurozone, despite protestations to the contrary. Despite a debt crisis plaguing the EMU, officials are keen to emphasise Ireland's problem is different from seven months before in Greece. Whereas in Athens it was fiscal irresponsibility and public sector corruption, Dublin's debt is due to reckless banking. Portugal does not appear to suffer greatly from either, yet are still struggling to keep their head above water, as are Spain. What do these countries have in common? The not fit for purpose single currency, founded upon idealistic ideology and not economic sense. The old adage about putting all your eggs in one basket rings true. Who are Europe's most prosperous countries? Well, that's Norway and Switzerland. They control their own resources and economies, yet still trade with their EU neighbours, knowing they can cast their nets elsewhere if the EU drags the whole project into oblivion. A rescue to Portugal would push the combined bill to the 300 billion mark, exhausting the Eurozone's entire capital. Surely the only reasonable choice left is EU thanasia. Thank you.